Welcome back. Today we're going to read and map data blocks in our code. While I get my IDE ready, I'll explain what I mean by mapping. I want to take what's in our data block, as you see here, copy and paste it in our code, those three first columns, name, data block, and offset, and be able to reference to them by name. Let's type the regular stuff in here, um, importing the, the same things we've been doing, but first we're going to create a DB object class, and I'll explain what that does in a little bit when I, we get to referencing to that object. I'm also creating a DB read method that we're going to pass in the PLC, the database number, the database length, and the string for those three columns we're copying from our data block. It's going to be a tab delimited string and we'll paste it at the top of our code and assign it to a global variable just in, for the sake of this example. Creating a, a empty object class lets you assign dot properties to the object on the fly which is going to be useful for us while we are assigning the data block items as we read them from this tab delimited uh, variable that we're going to be saving right here. Um, just type it in what it would look like. We have our tag, our, our data type, and the offset. I'll paste it in from TIA portal in a second. Right here, we are going to break apart the, the database string into an array and then split each of those into tag names that we can assign based off of data type. We're going to be creating a dictionary array where we can reference the items through their name, data type, and byte offset. Now when we try and get the area of a certain data block, we need to know the length. And we're going to create a quick method based off of our variables that we're going to paste. The maximum size we're going to grab from this data block. We'll pass in the array of our tag items, uh, the byte key and the data type key. We're going to sort this and try to grab the maximum offset and then also the data type so that we can append the data type length to the end so we can get the maximum length. In other words, if the last item in our data block is a real, we're going to append four bytes to our length just so we can grab that whole last item. Let me quickly type up in here um, an example. So I have my data type blah, it's a bool and it's at offset zero, zero. You can see I've got my data block full of items over here, as you saw in the beginning. If I take it, copy these three columns and paste it in here, I'll freeze it here for a second so you can see kind of where my offsets are and my names of my variables. So now we will return this area to our length. We'll call this get db size, sign it to our length and use it in our db read method we created. I'm just going to call this meh db read. Use my PLC that we're going to connect to. I am connecting to data block 10. Pass in the link and the array of dictionaries, those items that we pasted in. I'm going to paste in a lot of the db read part where we break up what kind of data types and what I've done this in my other videos so I'm just going to paste it in here 
I'm going to assign attributes to this object that we assigned that DB object class to so we can assign them on the fly. You can see, I'm going to freeze this for a second, you can see that I'm referencing med.cold, med.temperature, med. meh, whatever, our pies to buy. Makes it very easy, handy. I ran it locally. Now I'm going to connect to the Pi. Run it, and there it is. Run it again, you can see the values are changing for that temperature, which is a, a random value I set.